Ladies and gentlemen, we are continuing our week-long interviews with treasure hunters in America. So today, Antonio Mendez, hello and welcome to the show. Nice to meet you and thank you for inviting me. I'm really excited because I've already talked to Timothy Draper, who is the founder, yeah. and we spoke with Sean Fotheringham mm -hmm. yesterday, right? Who is what I call the Spider-Man of the crew. He's the, the climber. Well, actually, I'm... I'm I'm climbing too, uh, but I'm not a, as advanced as him is, so I'm just learning from him. But uh, uh, I like to rock climbing too. You like to the you like to do the climbing too, and yeah. you are also the excavator. Excavator, yeah. You do a lot of the digging with serious machines that you probably have yeah. to have. Do you have to be certified to run those machines? Uh, on some of them, yeah. So you also are the kind of translator and connector between people here in the U.S. and where else? Uh, in Mexico. Uh, I'm bilingual, uh, Spanish and English. Uh, also, we um, team showed me uh, at the beginning, before we start, um, well, I start with Treasures in America. He showed me some ancient, or I don't know how to say it, but uh, from the first Spaniels came here on this area. Uh, he showed me um, kind of uh, instructions for uh, maps or something. Uh, I've been translating them from for for him and understand more w where they went, where w or where to go. Okay, so when you have maps that were written by Spaniards, you're yeah. translating that for the yeah. for the team. Yeah. Awesome. So I mean, that's a really you know slightly important role. I'm thinking, Antonio. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Small detail to know what it says, right? <laughs> yeah. How long have you been a part of the team? Um, so far, it's about uh, eight months. Eight months. Now. Did you think a year ago that you would be treasure hunting? Oh yeah, yeah. I'm. I just gonna follow him. Uh, whatever he go, uh, I will go. And also, I want to take him to all the team down to Mexico because we have a lot of history, uh, a lot of um, culture to to show everybody. Uh, I like to show him what my um, roots are from, and I'm very excited uh, for all the adventure. What were you doing a year ago? How did you? become a part of this team? Oh, because I, I know Sean for about four years or more, I, I'm not sure. Tim, when, as soon as he started working here in um, with Sean, um, uh, we start talking about job and stuff, uh, basically, for uh, about uh, what we do. Because I'm a landscaper for, for um, Homes. We do the landscaping, design, and okay. Everything. I'm starting to see what's really going on here. We have a bunch of treasure hunters who are under disguise at a construction uh, residential <laughs> home property business. Yeah. That's what's going on, <laughs> <laughs> right? You yeah. and the other people sitting in this room right now. Where it's it's all coming out now. Yeah. So you met here. Yeah. Sean brings Tim on to right. be a sales consultant and things like that was mm -hmm. the actual title, something similar, doing customer service and meeting with people. And, and so once he slowly reveals that he's into treasure hunting, yeah. he starts seeing the strengths in all of the different men here yeah. at yeah. this company. And so you have a climber, and then you have a landscaper who also is an excavator who can also climb yeah. and translate. And translate, mm -hmm. yeah. It's all coming clear now. Mm -hmm. What is your favorite part about being part of this team? Favorite part is the adventure, going out there, uh, find stuff or what that I never imagined uh, it was there. So even I didn't even know the Spaniels were are about this area, uh, mining and and even I don't know exploring too. So you've learned a lot about your own culture by doing this. Yes. Tim's a teacher, right? Oh, yeah. And he yeah. teaches you a lot oh, about yeah. that too, yeah. I bet. Yeah. What do your kids think about you doing this? Uh, at the beginning, they thought I just will go out to camp and have fun by myself. But now they, they're looking at something more excited uh, on, 
I don't know how to explain, but yeah, they're happy for me to be with them and explore, bring in new um, stories and all the other adventures we've been done. What is the hardest part for you when it comes to being a part of the team? Um, there is the hardest part. Mm, there is no really hard part. <laughs> no hesitations when they mm, said, hey, we're going to look for treasure? Mm, no, no. I, I, I'm always up for whatever they or, or team decide to go look after. So I'm, I'm always ready. Have you learned anything about yourself by being part of the team? Um, I have learned to be more confidential, more, uh, uh, I feel part of the, of, uh, of our group that we take care of each other and always been um, in, in a family, um, kind of a family circle, brothers or... <laughs> I know it feels like you guys have started some secret society brotherhood here together. <laughs> and I mean, you're, mm -hmm. I think it's so cool. I think it's great because I think you have found these friendships and, you know, people to, that are like-minded like you to go on adventures together. And whether you find a treasure or not, you're having a great time. But yeah. there is always that that hope, that spark that you could yeah. discover something really cool. Yeah, the adventure is uh, going out there. Uh, I don't, I don't expect to find a big treasure right away. The treasure is is to go out there, get adventures. Um, be part of the team, uh, do the same, or a little bit sometimes uh, with the climbing, uh, a little bit more with Sean and me going up or down in, on the holes to explore first and be safe, and it's, it's just excited. <laughs> what does it feel like for you when you're on that hunt? Mm, exciting. I'm, I just wanna um, be there and learn, learn more because I don't know a lot of uh, the treasure hunting yet, but uh, I, I like to learn and I like to partici participate on decisions uh, for, for ourselves. How has being a part of all of this changed your life? Mm. Well, uh, I like to, or we always like to go out and camp with my family, but it's only family um, activity, which is pretty simple and no risk and no for the kids, for my wife. We just, just camp uh, as a normal family, but now we, we, we go farther than uh, advent, um, finding more challenges uh, on, um, I don't know how to explain, but it's, it's excited. Uh. So it sounds <laughs> like you needed a little risk taking in your life, right? Like you needed yeah. some more excitement and you found it here with these guys. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Always. What's your favorite memory? At the end of the day, we we just gather around the fire and uh, start talking. Um, some some of us look on things that others don't they don't pay attention, <coughs> and we always sharing ideas and learning for, from each other. Uh, yeah, and getting more excited of or go or go back on the next day or the next time. If it does the last day on on the site, um, exploring, going, trying to plan another adventure. Adventure. Yeah. <laughs> Who's the biggest joker in the group? Mm, 
All of us. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Well, I will say Dave, maybe. <laughs> oh, yeah? Okay, I think yeah. we're going to find out more about that. <laughs> I want to thank you so much for talking with us today. It was really great getting to know you. Oh, and thank and you. You know, I wish you guys all the best of luck, and I think it's awesome that you found a group of people that you really, it sounds like this relationship, you know, between you all has, has changed all of your lives, and I think that's great. Yeah, thank you for for invite, invite me and thank you for team for inviting me to the the group and uh, I'm excited. <laughs> Best of luck to you. Thank you. And I talk to you 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 and we love we love and we hate we hate and we chat and much straight we try to relate this is my breakthrough. Whoa. Said now this is my breakthrough. Oh man, this my breakthrough.